Hello, I'm Bill Peek. I've been asked to give you a quick overview of what the new smart spec is going to look like. Now, many of you have used our smart spec in the past. You've asked us to give you more details and more specifications. Let me just scroll down the page so you can see the specifications on these three pages. These all relate to an F-150 pickup for 2006. As you can see, there's quite a new varieties. You'll notice a lot of things have these small blue rectangular symbols. That means there's more information available. This is a three-dimensional system. Let's say you're looking for something. You're checking the ignition system. Look at the upper right. Here's the vehicle firing order. Front of the vehicle, it's a Ford. Number one is on the passenger side in the front. Here's your ignition coil, the primary resistance and secondary resistance. You see that in a lot of places. What you don't find is the peak amps you expect. And let's look at what's behind this blue thing. If you'll notice on the left over here, it says double click on the smart spots. We call these smart spots. They're documents that go one level deeper than what you're looking at here. In this case, here's a diagram. It's showing us data about the coil on plug, how it's wired, what connectors are used on the, the PCM, where the grounds are, where it picks up power, what the connector looks like. All these blue links will take you and show you additional details. Let's say we want to find out more about Fuse 33. We double click here and it shows us where Fuse 33 comes off the power relay. We can close this back up by going to the top red square. and We're back where we were. If we wanted to see the scope pattern, here's an example of the eight scope patterns you'd see. And as you can see, it's derived off of the crankshaft position sensor. We put them both there. Notice down below we show you a bad pattern. And this also goes into details of things about multi-spark on a Ford and shows you patterns of what to expect to see. Every one of these blue dots takes you deeper and gives you more detail. This has got about 10 times more diagrams than we had in the past. And there are diagrams you've told us you really like because they give you more information. Plus, we have everything bookmarked. If you want to find a particular subject, let's say you're looking for the mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor. Look over here on the left. If I click there, it takes me to the page that has a mass airflow. It tells me at idle, I should see from 0.74 to 0.98 volts if everything is normal. It shows me calculated load, which is calculated off the mass airflow, along with throttle opening and engine speed. All that's right there in front of me. And it says it must respond to changes in air, and I've got more detail. When I go here, I have a diagram that shows me more detail about how the diagram. Many of these books show you just a square and say, hey, out of this little square box comes four or five wires. You figure out where they go. Here you can see where they go. We show you its relationship back to Fuse 32. And if you want to see the central junction box in this case, we'll take and show the central junction box. And you can find 32 up there in the top row, F32. Down at the bottom of this, we give you a definition of what fuses are where. Here's your basic diagram. We show you the signals. We show you good ones and bad ones. We show the relations of grounds. We show you exactly what happens inside. And it all starts from a series of specifications. We're doing this with about 10 times more drawings than we had in the older program. If you print this page, you get three pages of specifications you can take to the car. And we'll show you in detail how to really use these to diagnose better. We have training programs that will go along showing how to get full use out of these specifications. You want good specs to tech with? What do you use now when you look at your scan tool? When you go into all these new parameter IDs we have on a vehicle, what do they mean and what should they read? And if they're not typical, where do you go to diagnose the circuit? It's all here for you in one document.